It's been over half a century since the revolutionary Apollo missions first launched, and scientists are itching for the opportunity to finally go back. What kind of new discoveries could we make if we could return? Elon Musk and the creative minds at SpaceX are turning that if into a when by developing their own lunar project. But the big question remains, exactly when will SpaceX be able to start flying moon missions? SpaceX was founded in 2002 by tech and business executive Elon Musk with the goal of creating commercial space travel and hopefully innovating enough to enable a multi-planetary society for the future. It's well known that Musk has dreams of one day building a new society on Mars, and he decided to be the one to actually do it. Although it seems like the plot of a science fiction novel, Musk has actually produced real results. SpaceX was the first private company to successfully send a satellite into Earth's orbit, and they have found cheaper and more environmentally friendly ways to build spacecraft. I guess that's what happens when the free market enters the space market. Customers of SpaceX include the U.S. Department of Defense, international governments, commercial companies, and NASA themselves. In 2020, NASA gave them $53.2 million for testing their cryogenic fluid and most recently awarded SpaceX $135 million in funding to possibly use their design in the future. SpaceX must compete with the designs from the tech companies Blue Origin and Dynetics, who NASA also awarded funding. NASA's goal is to have a lunar landing by 2024, and the spacecraft Musk is now developing would be used for the Artemis, sister to Apollo, lunar missions. Traveling to the moon is a step towards further space exploration, specifically to Mars. According to SpaceX, the moon is one of Earth's closest habitable neighbors and provides an opportunity to gain valuable experience for missions to Mars and beyond. SpaceX is planning on sending a reusable stainless steel two-part rocket, which is aptly named Starship. The first component of the rocket is the Starship spacecraft, which holds the crew and over 100 metric tons of cargo. The second part is the Super Heavy rocket, which propels the craft into orbit and detaches shortly after launch. The entire craft is powered using a total of almost 40 SpaceX Raptor engines with sub-cooled liquid methane and liquid oxygen. Together, Starship and Super Heavy tower at 120 meters high. The Starship user's manual reports that it can carry a crew of up to 100 people and comes with private cabins, large common areas, centralized storage, solar storm shelters, and a viewing gallery. Who knew life on a spacecraft could be so comfortable? In NASA's eyes, what makes Starship special is the new human landing system. The old Apollo mission spacecraft could land on the surface of the moon once and then have to head back to their return craft to re-enter Earth. But with the HLS, crews would be able to hypothetically travel between lunar orbit and the moon's surface multiple times in one trip. As Musk himself said, if my goal is max payload to moon per ship, no heat shield or flaps or big gas thruster packs are needed. No need to bring early ships back. They can serve as part of Moon Base Alpha. While Moon Base Alpha may be a dream far off in the distance, a complete Starship lunar orbit and return to Earth would take six to seven days. Before any landing can be attempted, SpaceX is first sending Starship into orbit around the moon, and the coronavirus pandemic doesn't seem to be slowing them down anytime soon. So far, there have been six total Starship suborbital test flights since April of 2019 in Boca Chica, Texas. Of those six, the first five were all deemed successes. But the most recent tests back in December of 2020 are a different story. After three different static fire tests on the engines were aborted some minutes or even seconds before the countdown finished, Starship was finally able to launch and returned in a slightly alarming hard landing. Because of this, the December 9th test was labeled only a partial success. From eyewitness accounts reported by the National Geographic magazine, its legs hit the ground and the rocket exploded in a roiling fireball, 
When the smoke cleared, all that was left of the rocket was a charred and misshapen nose cone resting on the landing pad. Yikes. Elon Musk took to Twitter to say, Fuel header tank pressure was low during landing burn, causing touchdown velocity to be high and RUD, but we got all the data we needed. Congrats, SpaceX team. Hell yeah. If you say so, Mr. Musk. Now, who exactly gets to go on this mission? To generate some publicity around the project, SpaceX is creating the social media campaign and art project called Hashtag Dear Moon. The official DearMoon.Earth website reveals that four Earthling artists, one painter, one musician, one film director, and one fashion designer, will be the first to orbit the moon using Starship. To be clear, they will not be landing, just doing a flyby with the new tech provided by SpaceX. The producer of the art project, Japanese entrepreneur and fashion designer Yusako Mazawa, will lead the artists on their lunar quest. Why artists, you may ask? Well, what else could be a more ultimate artistic inspiration besides exiting Earth's atmosphere and making the journey to the moon? Mizawa asks, if Pablo Picasso had been able to see the moon up close, what kind of paintings would he have drawn? If John Lennon could have seen the curvature of the Earth, what kind of songs would he have written? If they had gone to space, how would the world have looked today? When asked if he was interested in possibly being one of the artists sent to the moon, Ringo Starr, former Beatles member, said, In my head I'm interested, but I don't know about my heart. The final hashtag Dear Moon exhibit on Earth is planned to take place before the beginning of the next decade in 2030, but the exact schedule remains to be determined. Hashtag Dear Moon announced that they want to execute their orbit by the end of 2023, while NASA sticks to their goal of 2024. As of the posting of this video, the team reports that they are in training and preparation stage. Although Musk remains optimistic, some question SpaceX's ability to deliver a moon landing anytime soon, as if the almost failed landing didn't already raise red flags. According to SpaceFlightNow.com, when NASA's Associate Administrator Steve Jersick inspected the Starship project, he found evidence that there may be some delays on the way to actually getting Starship to fly by 2023 or 2024. Jerzyk wrote that SpaceX's plan is notably complex and comprised of likewise complex individual subsystems that have yet to be developed, tested, and certified with very little schedule margin to accommodate delays. Plus, the fact that SpaceX has been late to deliver what they promised in the past lowered NASA's confidence in the company even more. If you can remember, Elon Musk promised that SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket was supposed to launch before 2013, but did not complete a test launch until 2018. Maybe we were all distracted by the Tesla aboard the Falcon Heavy, so the public forgot it was grossly off schedule. The company also delayed their Crew Dragon launch until May 27th of 2020, which is four years past its initial estimated launch back in 2016. At this point, a missed deadline can be expected from SpaceX. But with all this in mind, Jerzyk found SpaceX's plan to be mostly promising just ambitious with the design and the targeted launch date. If all goes well, SpaceX expects Starship to allow for space-based activities that have not been possible since the retirement of the space shuttle and space transportation system or have never been possible before. And the Starship User's Guide ensures that SpaceX can evolve rapidly to meet near-term and future customer needs while maintaining the highest level of reliability. Each Starship launch is estimated to cost $2 million, which is significantly less than any of its competitors and any existing rocket of its giant size. One of SpaceX's earlier inventions, Falcon 9, launches at a rate of $62 million. Talk about getting a bang for your buck. If SpaceX continues on the trajectory of late finished products, then we may not see an official Starship lunar orbit until the mid-2020s, let alone an actual moon landing, which could take until closer to 2030. So while we continue to wait for more exciting space exploration, the folks at SpaceX are working hard to deliver.